Okay, so now we're looking at question number 11. We're told that 30 students in Teacher Me's class have either a dog or a cat. Have either a dog or a cat. Or none of the two. All the students who have a cat also have a dog. Um, students who have a cat equals 12. And the uh, number of students who have a dog equals 16. Which of the following Venn diagrams correctly represents the information? So remember we're talking about students, right? Now, we're told that all the students, this is key information right here, all the students who have a cat also have a dog. So I will be able to eliminate, right? So we have these 12 students, they have cats, but they don't have it, they don't have dogs, right? So this option is out. This is not, this is telling us there, there are students who have cats who do not have dogs. And the same thing goes for this one. We have these students who have cats, 12 students who have cats, they don't have dogs. Same thing here again. Am I missing something? Wow. Let's go down to this one. So these 12, these 12 persons here, so this would be your correct option. Why? Because these 12 students, they are within the circle of C, right? So these 12 students have cats because they're within the circle of C. And these same students who have cats, they also have dogs because the 12, although it's in the circle of C, the 12 is also within the circle of D.